This to it lesson activity is an art and focuses on using a PowerPoint slideshow. Using PowerPoint and the smart digital whiteboard system allows you to use a few more tools when you're showing a slideshow. In addition, you can use a Sentio interactive response system to answer any questions. So let's see how these work. We're in PowerPoint right now, and I have a PowerPoint file that has three slides. There is one title slide and two content slides. So let's go directly into the slideshow. I'll click on the slideshow tab up here and click on from the beginning. Now when this comes up, I want you to notice that there is a floating toolbar up here uh, from Smart that allows you to navigate. And when I click in it and I choose the next one, it'll bring up the rest of the animation. Now there are times when you're in your slideshow and you want to add some more slides to write some notes or to discuss things uh, further. This will allow you to do so. By clicking on the middle button in here, I can add a blank slide. So I can choose that and it will take me to a new slide that was just created. In here, I can write whatever I want by simply picking up the pen from the pen tray and then writing anything. So I could write questions that the students have or any other notes that we have. So when I'm done with this and I want to go to the next page, I just choose the button on the right to go to the next page. So this is a woman in an armchair. I can also click on the um, slide itself and it will also activate any of the animations that I have on there. So what do you notice about the woman in the armchair? So we can view some of this, but I want to make the picture even larger than it is. So I'm going to go to my floating tools over here and I'm going to choose the magnifier. Now when it's in here, a couple of things I want to do to change the settings. I want to choose the, uh, the second icon over and also the last icon, which will allow me to highlight a particular spot and I'm able to see whatever is highlighted in here and it kind of makes everything else darker. It makes an easier presentation. However, this is a uh, long rectangle. I can change the size of the viewed image and also the magnification. So when I click up here now, we can look at the facial expression she has, the use of colors and so forth. And so we can focus maybe on the background also in terms of what it looks like and what the different colors are. And we can elaborate on any of those. So using the magnifier allows you to focus on particular spots. So I will close that tool. And then again, we can also write additional notes on here in terms of what do you notice. Um, you know, we'll notice uh, some of the uses of color and so forth. So we'll be, we're able to write anything that we want to on here. Um, I can also click on the um, middle button up here and I can go to um, either a blank drawing or clear the drawing. If I go to PowerPoint commands, I can also black or unblack the screen. So if I click black or unblack the screen, it makes everything dark. It is still active um, and it will still come back to that same slideshow, to that same slide. Going back to PowerPoint commands and black and unblack the screen, it brings it directly back. So if I want to stop what I'm talking about um, and have the students focus on me or on something else, I can immediately blank the slides also. So um, I'm going to minimize the smart tools over here and I'm going to go to the next slide by clicking on the right arrow. And here we have under Midnight Blues and it's another nice painting which best describes this piece either sadness, reminiscence, or peace. And I want to get some feedback from the students. Now, if I just have the students raise their hands or call out, um, the students may influence each other in terms of, well, you know, I think it may be this or it may be that. But if I want their first responses, a way that I can get that is with the Sentio Interactive Student Response Clicker. I already have these signed in as uh, different students. And so what I'm going to do is click Start over here, and it will start uh, the responses. And actually on the response it says the question set of one and the answers are A through C. Well there's not an A through C written on here. So I can pick up my pen and write A, B, and C. Now the students can identify which of the answers go with which of the responses in here. 
So if I say that it looks like C, I'm going to hit the C response on here and then hit enter. And I'll hit enter again. And you notice that down here in the box it says that it has received one of three responses. So I'll pick up another one. And in this case, I'll also answer C and then hit enter and then hit enter again. And now I've received two of the three responses. Here, I'll choose sadness as A and then hit enter and then hit enter again. I'm done collecting all of the responses, so I'm going to choose stop. You see that automatically it brings up a small pie chart over here that 33% uh, chose A and 66% chose C. So I'm going to choose the next page now and it has created a separate uh, slide, a fifth slide, that has not only the quiz results but the actual um, answers with, well since this is an opinion question, we had 33% that said 33% uh, that said A and 67% that said C. So if I choose the arrow again, we're at the end of the slideshow. Now here's the other part that comes in very much in handy. The Smart Aware says, would you like to add your drawings to the PowerPoint presentation? And in this case, I want to choose yes because all of the notes that we just wrote, I want to include in that saved file. So I'm going to choose yes. And I want you to notice that on slide number two over here, it has included the questions that we wrote. In slide three, it has some of the other notes um, and also included a slide five. So it's added slide two and slide five to my slides that I have. You can also go into any of those slides. And because each of these are separate graphic objects, even though that's the number two and this is a parenthesis, they're all considered drawing objects. If I wanted to get rid of that question, I could highlight it and then go to my home up here and then click the cut, which is the scissors up here, and it will get rid of that. So I can do a variety of things with this now, and then I can save it so I now have that um, slideshow with those notes. If I want to keep my original the way that I wanted to, I can go up here to where the um, start menu is, um, for the program and then I can just use save as and with save as it will ask do you want to save it as something else and when I save it as something else with a different name I have my original and I also have the one with the notes on it. So those are some ways that you can use PowerPoint in your class. Now it's time for you to get to it.